Okay, so our next lab for scanning in networks, we're going to be using a program called curl ports. One of the issues is once you start figuring out what ports are open, well, what can you do with that information? And curl ports actually helps explain some of that. So I've already downloaded it. Module three's scanning tool, curl ports. If you're not sure where to get it, you can also download it from nearsoft.net, it's in utilities, and the seaport. This is what it looks like. All right, so once we open it, you'll start seeing all of the sessions that are open. You'll start seeing the addresses. And so as we start looking at things, we actually should start seeing some of the addresses coming through, their remote addresses, and things of that nature. So I want to go ahead, I want to do an NS lookup. NS lookup google.com. I want to use this first address, 72.195.166.27, for my Google. 72.195.166.27. That takes me to Google. And the address was 72. And you'll notice, I bet these right here are my Google page requests. Even though I typed manually the one or the 72 address, it probably got redirected to one of these guys. And so this is a neat little tool for seeing what ports are open and what's going on with each port. So let's go ahead and let's change the view a little bit. Maybe let's do an HTML report view. That way we can start seeing this a little bit better organized. What protocols are being used, what their addresses are, what uh, possible uh, address names or host names there are. But this starts giving us some detailed information. We could look at the specific ones. And that's actually really it for this tool. Thank you.